Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka Be Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend, and welcome back to the channel, Beauty Besties. We're talking about cleansing the skin today, and we're gonna go down to the basics for it. So, you know what to do. Grab your beverage, let go. So this is a second installment to my skincare series and we're gonna go down to the basics of cleansing our skin and why we need to cleanse and I'm gonna share some tips and tricks. But before we do that, what you sipping on over there? <laughs> Who, me? I got a little whiskey and cranberry juice in here. So cheers to you. And before we get started, everything I'm talking about today, tips and tricks and product recommendations will be in the description box of this video. So all you gotta do is take some notes, drink your drink and pay attention. So first thing first, let's talk about why should we cleanse? Well, I will hope y'all not so nasty that you wouldn't wanna cleanse your face the same way you cleanse your body and making sure that you're not using the same soap that you use on your elbows and knees. So we're gonna talk about it all. First off, cleansing our face removes basically the day away. So if you're like me and you happen to wear makeup some days or every day, one cleansing the face removes the makeup so your skin has the ability to breathe and be healthy as possible. Second of all, if you're out and about, because I hope you're not a hermit, you're exposed to sun, climate change is real, pollution, sweat, E, all the above, and you wanna wash that away as well. With that being said, I'm gonna take you step by step on how to properly cleanse, because believe it or not, and I'm just, this is between y'all and me and God. I still got friends that only use water. I know, shocker, I'm still working on them. Pray for them, y'all. So first thing first, you gotta know your skin type in order to choose the right cleanser. Are you oily, are you dry, are you combo, or are you quote unquote normal? And if you don't know your skin type, it's okay, cause guess what? The first video in this series is right here. So you can click this, watch how to determine your skin type and then come back here or just save this video for later. Now, once you know your skin type, here's your next step. Step two, find yourself a good old cleanser based off of what you can afford, and there's no shame in that. You know me, as your beauty best friend, child, I love me some products. I got expensive cleansers, I got mid-range cleansers, and I have some really inexpensive cleansers, but I found the cleanser based off of my skin type, and also, no shade, what I want my cleanser to do for me in that moment. You know, there's nothing wrong with having options, honey. Now. Here's a great simple breakdown of what type of cleansers to look out for based off of your skin type. Foaming cleansers are great for combination skin. Foaming cleansers have a tendency to be hydrating, so it's gonna add moisture back into the skin, it's gonna not make the skin feel so stripped, and it's gonna make the skin feel comfortable as you're cleansing it. So, for example, look how this foams up. You're gonna get the benefits of some hydration here and it's gonna make the skin feel comfortable. If you're dry, I like a cleansing oil. Now here's the thing about cleansing oils. Just because it has oil in the title does not necessarily mean it's gonna add oil to your skin that's gonna clog your pores or make you break out. Most of these cleansing oils have ingredients that are designed to condition the skin and also designed to mimic the natural oils that exist in the skin, hence the reason why they typically don't cause you to break out. Now, what I like about a cleansing oil, especially on dry skin, is typically it goes on clear. A little, a little QVC demonstration for you beauty besties. Water has a tendency to activate it and it should turn into a white milky substance. Mm -hmm. That's right, milky and white. And it starts to break down the makeup, removes any pollution, removes oil off the skin from sweat throughout the day. And it does a great job cleansing the face. So cleansing oils are great for dry skin. If you're oily like me, I like a good gel cleanser because I like to feel squeaky clean and a gel cleanser has a tendency to balance out the sebum production in the skin and it just nicely foams up, not a big foam, like a foaming cleanser and I'm able to wash it away as well. Oh, let's add some water to that so you can see the full effect. Sorry, I'm getting my Vanna White on today, hang me. And it just nicely cleanses away. So. Foaming cleanser, combo, cleansing oil, dry, gel, oily. Simple as that. Now, between you and I, I'm gonna tell you what I don't like. 
Don't get you a cleanser that has a scrub or a polisher built into it, like a St. Ives, no shade of St. Ives, but you don't wanna scrub your skin every single day. So therefore it should not be built into your cleanser for your face. Make, buy yourself an exfoliant, do it a couple of times a week, but your everyday cleanser should not have a scrub. Hear me, your everyday cleanser should not have a scrub built into it. And that's just my personal opinion. Listen to your beauty best friend, but it's just my personal opinion. And here's a little extra tip for you. Because I wear makeup, on the days I wear makeup, I do a two-step cleansing process, which I take a makeup removing wipe. For me, this is a Meissler cleansing wipe. I like Meissler because it's just, it's, it's a little softer for my skin and it helps to break down the makeup. And so I like to take this, take off my makeup first. Y'all thought I was gonna take my makeup off. <laughs> Not today, y'all see me with no makeup on when I do matcha with brands in. But I'm just saying, I take the Meissler wipe or if you like a regular makeup removing wipe, do what works best for you. Remove your makeup, then go in with your cleanser and then begin to cleanse. Now here's my next step. Decide where you wanna wash your face for step three, either in the shower, I'm a sink kind of kid, but you wanna wet your face first. So that's step three, wet your face, shower or sink, just make sure you wet it someplace, child, and preferably not in the kitchen. Step four, your hands should still be wet. You'll grab about a dime size worth of your cleanser and begin to warm it up in your hand and wash. Now. I'm gonna show you a little demonstration so you can understand the importance of two-step cleansing, especially for my people that wear makeup. And I got this tip from a makeup artist friend of mine. I love how innovative we are as makeup artists and I, lo I love being able to take gems and share it with you all. So I got this from, like I said, a makeup artist friend. So see this lemon? The texture of the lemon kind of reminds me of the texture of our face, especially with pores. So it has on makeup. We're gonna use our foaming cleanser here. Add a little bit of water. We're gonna use the foaming cleanser on half of the lemon, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna cleanse, 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 perfect. I'm gonna take my makeup removing wipe and we're gonna wipe away. Now I'm gonna show you, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's still makeup caught here, trapped into the pores of the lemon. That's what happens when we're wearing makeup and you only do one step cleanse. You still have a little bit of makeup left behind. On the other side, I'm gonna take the wipe and I'm gonna cleanse first with the wipe. I'm gonna go back with my cleanser, add a little bit more water here. Cleanse, 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 cleanse. And now I'm cleansing over all of the lemon. I'm gonna wipe that away. I want you guys to see this. There's no makeup left in the pores of the lemon. I know it's kind of hard because of the lighting, but guys, no makeup left in the pores of the lemon. This is why two-step cleansing is so important, beauty besties. All right, next step. Step five, as you're warming it up, be gentle with your face. Do not abuse yourself as you're cleansing your face. So I like to start, because you know I'm not taking my makeup off. I like to start in the center, and I'll go from here out. I will rotate up, circular motions on the forehead, I do circular motions down and I actually go up this way with my hands because you know, <laughs> we're getting a little wiser so we're gonna be gentle with gravity. I go up this way with my hands to cleanse and I do this for about 45 seconds to a minute. Don't go anything longer than that because you're gonna strip your face and you're gonna do more damage than good. 45 seconds to a minute for cleansing is all you need and it'll get the makeup off or just properly cleanse your face. Treat your face like a spa moment. Treat your face as almost if you was washing somebody else's face and be gentle with your face. What do you think the next step is? Duh, you gotta rinse. So here's what I like to do. I like to rinse everything off. I, as I'm massaging with my hand, I like to then rinse with my washcloth. It might be my southern roots. I grew up using washcloths. I use a washcloth for my body. I have a separate washcloth and a hand towel for my face that I replace every three days. And if you're acne prone and you're oily, it is important that you replace your towel frequently and your washcloth frequently if you love to use a washcloth. If you're using your hands, it's just replace your towel like every three days by itself and make sure it's a clean towel if you're changing out your towel every day. I don't know who cut towels like that, but if you got it like that, change out your towel every day, child, especially if you're in a hotel room. Now, as you are rinsing away with the washcloth, again, gentle, grab your towel, pat your face dry, 
Don't assault yourself again. Start here, pat here, pat there. Next step, immediately follow up with your skincare routine. Do not stop and make a pot of coffee or throw in a few loads of clothes in the washing machine because if you don't follow up with your skincare routine right away, your skin will is stripped because you just got done cleansing it and it's gonna think it needs to go into protection mode and it will start to make oil as a substitution for moisture. So it's super important that once you cleanse and you patch your face dry or you allow it to air dry for a few seconds, that you go in with your next step of skincare. Now, what does that next step consist of? <laughs> well, you're gonna have to just join me for my next installment for our skincare series. But in the meantime, if you feel like you know what the next step is for you, continue on. Guys, I hope this helped in understanding how best to cleanse your skin. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you do in terms of cleansing your skin and share some tips. We're, we are a family, like a giant tree branching out towards the sky, okay? Now guys, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel if you like, like this video if you like, and leave me a comment. Most importantly, check the notifications. Who loves you? <laughs> I do, and I'll see you next time. Happy washing. Bye.